Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 7th, 2020. So yesterday, big rally by the tech giants. They just zoomed higher yesterday with all kinds of energy. Um, with Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, all reaching out to new record highs. But we struggled in the Dow, we struggled in the SPY, and we struggled in IWM trying to break through resistance levels. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's snuggle into our office chairs, and let's prepare for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prop video. So as we take a look at the technicals today, we have to sometimes really take a look at the finite details here that may be providing us a little bit of a clue. First off, let's talk about where we are trend-wise. Well, as you can see, if I draw this trend line up this way, we have broken back above that trend. So we failed for a short period of time. We've broken back above that trend and we have broken back through this little downtrend that had been going on. But then we run into those little finite details. Let's take a look. If we take a look at our moving averages, notice that the Dow most of the day yesterday struggled. I mean struggled against that 200 day moving average and still is struggling to break through these resistance level highs in these big black candles up here um, in the chart. Now, at the end of the day, and I mean right at the end of the day, we had a surge here in the Dow. Here is the, uh, the activity right at the close. Right at the end of the day, we had a surge that carried us just above that 200 day moving average. We kind of eked out that move above the 200 days. So we did breach, um, but this morning we're looking at a very different picture. Notice that this morning we're looking at a gap down open that will take back the majority of yesterday's rally. So what does that mean? Well, if we have a gap up to a candle like this and a gap down to a candle that um, could move lower. Notice that the details of this chart, and this is just all speculation right now, guys. Um, I can't tell you if we're going to have a down day or not. Um, but we leave behind what's, ca what's called an abandoned baby. That is a bearish pattern in the market. It's created by a gap up window on one side and a gap down window on the other side. So we could be setting up that possibility of that abandoned baby pattern at price resistance here at the 200 if and only if those bulls are unable to push through and recover um, intraday. Right now, futures are down. We have futures down over 200 points. They've been down as much as 250 points, but we're getting that morning pump again. That seems to be the relentless activity and all too familiar um, institutional pump um, in the morning market. Um, setup. So we're getting that pump up this morning, but let's see if they can actually uh, push that on through and break that 200 or close that window at least to avoid that abandoned baby type pattern in the chart. So watch those resistance levels carefully. If we take a look at the SPY, the details of the SPY, well, once again, we are trying this rally. Now, if I draw a trend line here, notice that what we, what we did yesterday is we've rallied up to test the underneath side of that resistance. Now you could draw that trend line in a lot of different ways, but probably the key point here overall is that we attempted to break through Okay, this island reversal pattern where we left this gap down move, we have we have tried to close that uh, that gap, pushing back up, and we did break through this resistance high in the chart, but 
we were unable to break through that island reversal pattern. You can see this morning we're looking at a gap down open, markets looking to open right down here. And once again, we could leave behind that possibility exists of an abandoned baby pattern, which would even, you know, depending on how this today's candle forms, remember if we were to form a candle that closes down, um, a minimum of halfway of this up move that leaves behind also an evening star pattern with that abandoned baby um, in that mix so kind of an interesting situation for today are we bullish are we bearish um, kind of a, a back and forth here I just don't know where this goes and all of these daily gaps I don't know about you guys but they're becoming tiresome um, very very tiresome as it seems like we get all this institutional manipulation overnight and it's becoming very very tiresome and very very challenging really encouraging everyone to move more and more and more into very fast intraday trading and those who who um, aren't doing that and don't close up business by the end of the day can get trapped in these big daily reversals so watch this closely it's a challenging market uh, to be sure certain let's take a look at the queues now the qqq led by all of those big techs um, we are just bullish 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 there is no sign right now that we have any intention of um, reversing or going down a trend in the nasdaq is definitely up and we are strongly surging to the upside now this morning we're looking at a little bit of a pullback but let's just keep in mind when we look at microsoft new record highs um, amazon new record highs google new record highs apple new record highs that pretty much constitutes a full 20 percent of the s p 500 those uh, four companies so watch that carefully they can move these companies and continue those indexes moving up although uh, we have more declining issues than we do advancing issues so watch that carefully if these guys start to sell off we could see um, some trouble in the market let's take a look at IWM now IWM if we look at the the details here in this chart we have this trend that continues to hang in there we we failed short term failed short term but we continue to hang in there rallying back up to test that 200 day moving average in the last three days gap up and close down gap up and close down gap up and close down iwm is struggling here struggling pretty heavily overall so let's watch that closely and this morning you can see we are gapping down this could constitute another failure at the 200 day moving average so let's watch that close let's take a look at the vix the VIX is not providing us that warm and fuzzy confidence that we would like to see. We gapped down um, on this with uh, the market surge yesterday. We gapped down to test support right down here of these last lows. But boy, by the end of the day, it certainly wasn't providing us a whole lot of confidence leaving behind that hammer pattern. Once again, holding at that 200 day moving average. Now clearly we are still below our 50 day moving average and that doesn't mean that we are bearish in the market in any way, shape or form. It just means that we've got some confusion going on and quite a little price volatility that we can expect here in the market. Market. So let's watch that closely. If this hammer were to follow through um, um, with an upside move today, that could be a bit of a concern if we start seeing that fear creeping back up. Um, and one of the reasons that's occurring is all of the news overnight, um, you know, California shutting down indoor businesses, Texas reaching hospital capacity in some areas, um, uh, Dade County, um, in Florida um, closing restaurants and health clubs and party venues and things like that um, a little bit of concern and then we also had the EU um, put out numbers that they expect 
their economy to slump by 8.3 percent um, this year, downgrading um, the outcome for the year. So a little bit of pressures on the market as these coronavirus n- uh, numbers continue to surge and ca- causing that uncertainty um, in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. At the open yesterday, T2122 surged hard. We had T2122 pushing up um, near resistance levels in the chart. And we were clear up here, by the way, clear up here. But what happened by the, um, well, just shortly after the open, it started to pull back. And what that was an indication of is that we just had a very few companies lifting the market and that was those big tech giants lifting the market while the majority of the market was languishing in kind of a sideways choppy move or even a pullback and we ended up with the t2122 pulling back um, into this range so once again we don't have a directional focus here on t2122 it doesn't tell us which way the market is going to go or how we're going to resolve it just tells us when we've reached overbought or oversold conditions Right now we're kind of mid-range. It really is going to be that bull bear battle today to decide who's going to win um, this price action at at these price resistance levels in the chart. So watch that close. So how about we take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar has a few things that we want to be paying attention to. But um, nothing, uh, it's, it's actually a very light day except for a parade of Fed speakers. If we take a look, um, our only real notable report today is going to be the job openings report. So keep an eye on that. It may or may not move the market much, but let's watch that close. And then we have um, four Fed speakers uh, throughout today. I doubt we learn anything new from those, but we'll definitely want to pay attention to those. So a light day on that um, economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, we also have a relatively light day. We have only nine companies reporting earnings today. However, we do have a couple, whoops, we do have a couple of notables that we'll want to pay attention to this morning. So let's take a look at PAYX. PAYX is reporting today. Um, looks like uh, bid ask spreads kind of wide, like we're still waiting for that report overall. Keep in mind this stock has this uptrend underway, and we may be pushing into some resistance highs here this morning. So let's watch that closely as PAYX reports its earnings today could be uh, both bullish or bearish and then Levi Levi Strauss reporting this morning and it looks like we're still waiting on that report as well we're just pushing uh, back up from this downtrend we've broken this little downtrend in the chart we're pushing into some price resistance levels and we're waiting for that report to see whether or not we're going to be bullish or bearish in that chart so keep an eye on Levi today the rest of the stocks reporting relatively unnotable or not notable Um, Um, overall so um, not a whole lot of activity on both the earnings calendar or the economic calendar today which puts us in a situation where the market may be much more focused on the news cycle and the things that are coming out about coronavirus so kind of keep that in mind Um, so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading I want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you guys could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos you know my purpose here is not to provide any hype my purpose here is not to provide prediction my purpose is to really investigate the price action of the chart 
taking a look at the technicals and the possible patterns that may be developing there to help me decide and hopefully help you decide how to approach the market for, to, for the day. And if you guys find these uh, videos to be helpful, if you could please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. We get an awful lot of watchers, but not a whole lot of folks that actually follow through to leave a, a comment. So if you could follow through and leave comments on those videos, uh, guys, it really helps a lot in us continuing to grow. If you find these videos helpful, maybe others will as well. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Now I'm going to sound a little bit like a broken record here um, on these on these but it's my commitment to um, these trades I guess that is keeping me uh, focused in this area and and that is uh, GLD. GLD uh, moved higher yesterday we are looking at a little pullback this morning but I got to tell you gold um, as we continue to push and push and push out more and more um, government um, uh, injections of funds um, this continues to rise pretty nicely so although we're getting a little pullback this morning we're holding in a nice support area please keep in mind guys that when I talk about positions that I am currently in, I could have a bias in them. So make sure on every stock that I post, and remember that none of these are a recommendation to buy or sell a security. It's meant to kind of educate, show you the patterns, and maybe help you find some stocks that you want to evaluate and do your due diligence in these trades. So although I probably have a little bit of a bias here, gold right now is looking good and I'm looking at well currently um, um, about a 26% profit in this trade overall so looking pretty good here in uh, GLD um, keep an eye on that also silver um, silver might be something to pay attention to silver has an industrial aspect to it that gold does not so it will move a little bit more with the market with the market pushing back this morning we could get a pushback here in silver and um, silver is still in this little wedge pattern we need a little bit more energy to poke that out uh, to try to move but I'm still holding um, that trade watching that pretty carefully um, here overall take a look at FCX now FCX is a trade that um, we got into here just recently just a couple of days well a um, couple of trading days ago and um, got a big surge yesterday in FCX and FCX um, rallying up strongly as copper starts to catch a little energy this morning it's testing some price resistance over here in the chart may not be able to uh, push on through may require a little bit more rest but I do like the trend that we have going on here breaking through these resistance levels trying to push on up so keep an eye on FCX if Freeport relaxes or pulls back consolidates it may set up that next opportunity for the upside so keep an eye on FCX take a look at the possibility of Boeing now Boeing um, has had uh, you know it's it's hard Hard to even um, give a real great bullish picture here on Boeing considering the state of the airline economy right now pretty dismal overall they're losing um, record numbers of orders uh, being canceled at Boeing but what we've got going on is we have the FAA working to recertify the 747 MAX which would be a major plus for the company and you can see we've kind of got this pattern here where we're, we've broken this downtrend and this is one of the key patterns I look for in my trading I want to see that downtrend break I want to see the stock hold support in here so keep an eye on Boeing might want to watch that if it can find you know something in the news that provides that encouragement this might start pushing up from there so keep an eye on that chart may have some potential here to move on up take a look at some of the stocks um, like Grubhub Grubhub very very strong um, in Corona land this 
guy is doing very, very well and showing lots and lots of strength. You can see breaking through um, this little consolidation yesterday, pushing up substantially higher. Grubhub continues to look very good. Other stocks that are benefiting dramatically from uh, coronavirus are some of the gaming stocks. Uh, take a look at Activision. Whoops. Activision moving on up. It is showing lots and lots of strength as it continues to gain ground uh, with more and more folks staying home. I guess video games is where people are finding their entertainment. And so keep a look on at Activision um, EA. EA is a another potential that's been just running, running, running. And uh, TTWO has shown some remarkable strength here as well in this trend. However, TTWO may be finding a little bit of challenge at this resistance high. So watch that carefully in here. Um, how about Peloton? Peloton is... Um, you know, one of those uh, fancy um, exercise bikes that um, a lot of folks are buying because their gyms and, and fitness centers are closed. Peloton continues to show strength here. Although this seems to be a little bit stretched out, any kind of rest or consolidation in here sets up that opportunity for this to go higher. So keep an eye on Peloton. It's another one of those coronavirus um, areas that look really, really good um, overall. eBay is another. eBay just showing tremendous strength um, in um, in response to coronavirus as more and more folks are shopping buying things online uh, very very strong here overall on corona and we're seeing surges in stocks like uh, pay system stocks that people uh, use uh, for online payments. SQ um, popped up hard yesterday, pulled back a little bit. This has just been trending beautifully. Um, PayPal um, can't type but paypal trending beautifully keep an eye on those stocks so a few for, for you to look at and uh, evaluate some of these may be reaching some overextended um, conditions but right now the way the market is acting um, we just kind of close our eyes and ignore and buy so keep an eye on those there may be more upside opportunity in those everyone i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks for watching i truly truly appreciate it you guys are awesome and we will talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.